Hello everyone, I'm Zhang Yexi from National Supercomputing Center in Guangzhou, China. Today, I will show you our visualized workflow feature based on CWL. Let me introduce ourselves first. We are, as the name says, a supercomputing center. You may have heard of our HPC systems, Tianhe 2, one of the world's fastest HPC systems, and we have its sister systems too. We also have a platform called Starlight. Starlight platform is a SaaS platform developed by us, providing software running on Tianhe 2 and other systems to end users. Last year, we were considering expand our service, introducing workflow as an advanced feature. We check out many workflow practice and decide to choose CWL as our base. Starlight already have many softwares, we call it applications. So the first thing we do is to upgrade our application system. Now, an application is described using a command line tool document. After user submit, our job service will then pass the document and translate it into Slam job or Kubernetes job. So this is the application's submit form. The blue path is where to choose the running environment and resources. The red path outlines inputs.json corresponding to the input fields of document. Our application editing page also upgraded. Inputs can be set using the widget on the left panel and commands can be set and preview on the top menu. We have a footage source edit adding a string input and set it as an argument. After this transition, our users now get many CWL documents, so they can use our workflow editing page to merge this into a workflow. In this page, nodes are the workflow's steps and ages between them are data relations between steps. Double click a node to edit its details. And applications on Starlight platforms can also add as a node. It's also possible to copy paste the CWL document and generate the workflow automatically like this footage shows. After done editing workflow, it will become an application in Starlight. Therefore, you can use the similar submit form to submit a workflow job. You may need to choose running environment for each step or step group like this blue path. You can also use a visual way to check the progress and results of a workflow. In this page, every step and its corresponding job is listed. Different color means different status. On the top right are control buttons. You can control the workflow process there. So all of these are supported by our new executor called CWL.go. It's based on an already existing Golang CWL parser, also named CWL.go on GitHub. Our executor can do real parallel execution for scatter steps. It's also highly extendable. You can change how it executes and assess files just by adding a new Go interface implementation. Therefore, it can be used in any platform. This is precisely how our workflow modules work. Visit our GitHub if you need more info. So, to meet our users' requirements, we also add some features in our platform. The first one is loop features, which can make a step repeat running until it meets the condition. This is common thing in HPC field. It works like sequential scatter when history record is needed, and, and it will work as a normal step if only the final result is needed. The second thing we change is about resources. In HPC fields, computing resources includes many types like GPUs, network, and many others. The existing feature is not enough for us. So we use a label to represent the resources and have multiple ways to describe the exact value needed. It can be a single value, a range, or a list. That's all my talk. Thanks for your listening. The community really helps a lot in our platform developing. If you and have questions about our work or our platform, you can contact us using the email below or visit our website. Thank you.